Jude Rogers, the journalist Jude Rogers and the sound of being human, how music shapes our lives. Uh, and also former Q magazine editor Ted Kessler's book, which is due out next month. No, July, it's coming out, I think. Uh, Paper Cuts, How I Destroyed the British Music Press, press uh, and Other Misadventures. Sounds good. Uh, three more today from Mickey out of Lush and journalist Simon Williams. A nice tassel. This is Steve Lamack. BBC Radio. Six Music. Hi Steve, it's Mickey Bereni here and my new book is Fingers Crossed, How Music Saved Me From Success, which is published 29th September from 9-8 Books. There's a lot of my early life in the book with some difficult subjects tackled. I had a pretty disrupted childhood and adolescence and I dragged a lot of that baggage with me when I joined a band, but I suppose we all did. Bands are a really close and claustrophobic entity and I've tried to make those relationships come to life on the page. Um, I'm not much interested in rock and roll anecdotes because it can get a bit name droppy and braggy. Um, but Lollapalooza, I've written about quite a bit because it was such an insane experience. I had to share it. Uh, not going to lie, it wasn't always fun being Mickey from Lush, inverted commas. I had to develop a hard and mouthy don't give a monkey's shell when on the inside I felt, often felt quite pathetic and vulnerable. Operating in a male-dominated world often felt infuriatingly unfair. Not the individual bloke so much, just the general attitude. And I did my best to toughen up and take it like a man, even act like a man. But as a woman, whatever you do is judged by a different standard. So I'm not moaning about it, I'm just pointing it out. And I'm actually glad I'm a woman because I'd have made a bloody horrible bloke. Anyway, I've been as honest as I can be without tipping into self-pity, I hope. I was in my butcher the other day actually chatting and he said I must uh, sign a copy for him when it's out and I said I'm not being funny Dennis but if you read that book I'm never bloody coming in here again so yes it's honest and warts and all and I'm a bit stressed about oversharing but sod it if you're going to write about that stuff then you have to go to the whole hog right so I hope despite the traumas and conflicts and some quite mad stuff it's entertaining and uplifting and enjoyable I don't get your head! 